This week, I'll be giving my outdoor space a new look for fall. I'll be redesigning my space, arranging a fall bouquet, serving up some crafty ideas, and breathing new life into fallen leaves. This week, I'll show you how to bring a little fall into your home. Well, if you remember from my last videos, I have a large table on my screened in porch because when I have people over, I like to feed them. And I love decorating my tables for the seasons. My husband, on the other hand, spends a lot of time out here and has mentioned that there hasn't been enough room for him to stretch out and relax because of the table being so big and all. So I decided to surprise him by getting rid of the table and turning it into more of a lounge and relaxation area. I looked everywhere and finally found some outdoor furniture from Pier 1 that was marked down plus 25% off because they were off season. So I arranged everything and got some light neutral cushions for the furniture. I like to start with a light clear palette so I could add pops of color with pillows and drawers and different items in the room. I'll be decorating with goes, orange, reds, and browns for fall. I had this little round wicker container already, which turned out to be a perfect stand for this. This beautiful hand-carved wooden tray that I also got from Pier 1. I'll be using the center tray as a coffee table, so I decorated it with ceramic pumpkins, potpourri, some fall candle vaults, and some fall garland. I picked up these little items from the Dollar Tree. I also used the large red and antique candle vaults I already had in the center to give it some height and grandeur. I got the red candle vaults from Kirkland and the antique candle vault from a garage sale. To make it feel more like fall, I arranged a floral bouquet made out of silk flowers from the Dollar Tree and sticks from my yard. I added a fall candle vault and a couple of burlap pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree underneath the arrangement. And I displayed the faux mosaic glass plate that I made because the colors went so well. Now, since I don't have my large table anymore, and like I said, I love feeding people. I made about six of these serving trays out of a couple of plastic platters from the Dollar Tree. I customized them so that they had the same color as my furniture and the same pattern as the large beautiful tray I have in the center of the room. Even though I only have one green plant in my screened in porch, putting my fern in a tall planter and lifting it up on a pedestal gave it a spa-like feeling with pillars of greenery flowing in the wind. On the opposite side of the room, I placed a large ottoman next to my husband's favorite chair so that he could put his feet up and finally stretch out and relax. And to finish the room off, I made a fall wreath out of fallen evergreen pieces and pine cones that I picked up in my yard. So as the weather starts to get cooler, we'll enjoy cozying up to a nice, relaxing fall retreat. <music> 